Hey boys, Anbury here. Today we have a video on how to recover your lost or hacked Fortnite account or if it's easier how to get your Fortnite account back whether it was hacked or you forgot the password, email and cannot access it. This will be an update to my previous version that I made last year. So currently it is 25th January 2023, almost February, Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so this will work if your Fortnite account got hacked, stolen, scammed, I don't know. But it will also work if you simply forgot your password and you don't have access to the email to recover it if you do have access to the email however there is an easier and a quicker way to do all of this let me show you real quick all right so you are on the desktop what you want to do is launch your internet browser it doesn't matter which one it is i have google chrome here so i'm gonna go ahead and go with that into the google you want to type in epic games you're gonna click on this first page that opens up which is epic Games store after that this page will open up i'm logged in so by the default if you don't know your password you're not gonna be logged in so let me just sign out real quick what <laughs> wait what i cannot sign out bro don't do me like that is this serious Alrighty, so i had to go on my internet explorer because i just couldn't sign out on uh, google chrome i don't know what's up but anyways this is what you're gonna see in the top right it's going to be sign in so what you want to do is click there sign in with epic games and forgot your password it's literally right there so this only works for the people that don't know their password but they have access to their email here you want to put in your email address obviously and send email what you want to do then is go to your email and uh you'll get the uh, epic Epic Games email there with a link and after you click the link you're basically going to come back to the Epic Games page where you're going to fill in your new password and it's as easy as that but obviously that is only in ideal conditions that you only forgot your password which I'm sure 90% of you know already how to do all of this and you got your entire account stolen along with the email and password so there is no way for you to simply reset your password and play but don't worry I got you homie so yeah let's go onto the desktop real quick again and do this all right baby since uh my google chrome is uh, totally bugged i'm permanently signed in apparently i'll have to use uh internet explorer for this but that's okay that's totally fine so in the google let's type in epic games we are doing the same thing again uh epic game store we'll get to this page but this time instead of clicking on sign in since we obviously cannot we're gonna click on support they updated this quite a bit so just stay patient and follow through basically what you want to do right now is instead of clicking on fortnite what we want to do is click on accounts over here uh accounts again on the right we're gonna scroll down until we see can find what you're looking for contact us so this uh bluish button here you have uh, a step i can't log in log in create a parent guardian request so basically what you want to do is uh gone i cannot log in and here we have a couple of informations we have to fill in so account info that's the first step first display name keep in mind this is not your display name of your uh, fortnite account but the first display name you had now i assume you boys changed your display name at this point if you had your account for a while if you didn't just type in your display name so my first display name was amber i believe right now it's currently it's youtube dot ambery but the first display name i created was amber so i'm gonna type in that email address this is going to be the contact email address so keep that in mind this is not the email address of your lost fortnite account that you cannot access this is the email address that you have full access to that you can use right now after that you're gonna click on next step uh this is going to be your ipv4 address the way you get this it's super simple don't worry what you want to do is go back to google type in what's my ip oh this is bing but it's whatever fucking internet explorer man so it's going to say here your public ip address you want to copy this keep in mind just write in what's my ip you're gonna copy that you're gonna paste it right here if you played fortnite on multiple devices on the account you lost uh for example you played on pc as well as your xbox what you want to do is go to your xbox go to an internet browser and do the same thing search what's my ip make sure to write that ip down click here add ip address and uh add another one as well so for both the devices since i didn't play on xbox i just played on my pc i just write in one but in case you did go to your xbox or playstation or switch and do the same step go to the internet type in what's my ip and paste it right here next step um here we need invoice id or transaction number the way we get this if we shopped in the item shop usually we'll get these on our email and since i made a purchase i bought some pack two days ago i'm gonna pay i'm gonna go to my email i'm gonna paste my invoice id right here locations country cities where you made purchases on the account so i made purchases from uh the city i live in 
So I'm just going to write in the city, the country, obviously. And finally, the last four digits of the credit card used to purchase. This is pretty self-explanatory. I don't have to explain this. The last four digits on the card, not the full number, just the last four. Next step, connected accounts. This is if you have your Twitch link to your Epic Games or PlayStation Switch or Xbox accounts link to your Epic Games account. So you can click on add connected account, account type, let's say uh, Twitch, write in the display name of your Twitch. Mine would be um, Anbury and the approximate account connection date this doesn't have to be exact but approximately when you connected the account at least get the year right if you cannot remember the date because i totally understand that after that you're gonna click on continue here you want to write in your contact email address once again platform so i'm on pc right now I'll select the pc describe your problem here what you want to do in the describe your problem box is pretty self-explanatory but the more details you give obviously the better chances are to recovering your account my advice is give the approximate time when you lost your account what happened Did you have two-factor authentication on or not were you able to reset the password or not is the epic games name still the same or was it changed as well when you got your account stolen as i said guys the more information you give the better now this is the most frequent asked question on my previous video when will the epic games respond well the way this usually goes is that they'll respond to you within two to five business days but from my experience it usually happens around one to two days but to say it safely two to five business days since i doubt the support is working on the weekends when they respond to you they will do so in the email you listed as a contact email and provide you with the next step to get your fortnite account back they will typically ask some more information info that they're interested in so they can confirm that you own the account in the first place which brings me to the next thing i'm going to say and that is cannot hack or steal someone's account this way so do not even try you'll probably only end up getting banned because you're being a rat plus there is some information about the account that only the real owner knows or can confirm so it's literally impossible to steal accounts this way before you even try i'm just saying Alrighty, so that was it for today i'm hella tired guys i worked really hard on this video i hope it helps you out if you follow my steps and you own the account that you lost you definitely get your account back it is a hustle but it is what it is they have to confirm that it's really you if the process wasn't in place then anyone could pretty much yoink your account this way anyway enough about that i just want to say real quick that i'm streaming on this channel as well so check it out 99 percent fortnite one percent i don't even know i'm back on the grind baby let's go